Hey, we now continue our team coverage with Megan Sinktorum. And Megan, you spent the day with IMPD as they search for the person or people responsible for these four homicides and trying to figure out how this all happened. What are you finding out tonight? Well, Mark, police are still actively investigating this case, but they say right now it appears to be part of a robbery. Local leaders say regardless of the motive, more needs to be done when it comes to prevention. It hurts okay. uh, because it's, it's so unnecessary. IMPD Chief Randall Taylor reacting to the quadruple homicide, saying this act of violence is hitting some especially hard. The youth of the victims, uh, the number of victims all in one spot, definitely don't want to get your, uh, your public, especially your young people, uh, used to having these kind of things happen around them. But that's becoming a reality for many in the city. And the chief says preventing violence like this can be an uphill battle. I don't know what we could have done to have prevented something like this, except for maybe getting with those people that would commit violence and, and try to work things out. What, whatever the dispute is, helping them choose something other than pulling the trigger. That's part of what Shauna Majors does with the city's community violence reduction team. They go into neighborhoods and connect with residents. She says they've been to this apartment complex for outreach work before, but it's been a while. And this shooting has her thinking about what the team could be doing differently. I don't know if maybe we're not in apartment complexes as much as we could be. She says the city can only do so much, though, and she's calling on the community to get involved. You have to do something, um, sitting back and watching everybody else or complaining about what the, what's not being done. It doesn't help anybody. Chief Taylor echoed her plea saying the focus needs to be on young people. We all say that back in the day, you know, if you got in trouble, uh, someone was going to tell your parents, you know, before you even got home because people were willing to be involved. I think we, we've missed that. And I understand people are, are uh, a little intimidated maybe by speaking uh, uh, or talking to kids that they don't know, but I think it's going to be part of the solution in there somewhere. Police are still looking for those responsible for this shooting. Anyone with information is asked to contact them. Working for you, Megan Sanctorum, RTV6.